Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting reports that the Detroit Pistons have just acquired Blake Griffin. I don't understand the logic of that deal. And no offense to Blake Griffin, but I don't see how he fits in this organization. They already have a big man up front and Andre Drummond. Spacing is already a problem that's going to be a nightmare. The salary cap implications with those two contracts essentially hamstring the organization for years to come. I don't know what Stan Van Gundy's thinking. I think this is a terrible trade. I don't see how he could hold his job after this. I think we can say without hesitation that today is the day the Detroit Pistons have died. Oh my God, Stan Van Gundy is a genius. Unbelievable game. Blake Griffin comes in, tears it up, 24 points, 10 rebounds, five assists. He looks unbelievable out there with Andre Drummond. What a genius move by Stan Van Gundy. This team is destined for great things now. I Honestly, I think if you're any other team in the East, don't even show up to Detroit to play a game because you're going to get your asses handed to you. Blake Griffin didn't even have a practice with this team, okay? He doesn't even run any sets. He doesn't know what he's even doing, and he destroyed it. The guy is a, a six foot ten point guard. Are you kidding me? Detroit is going to take this all the way. They're going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. They might even, you know what, if I, was, I wouldn't want to be playing Detroit. It doesn't matter who. If you've got LeBron James on your team, James Harden, Kevin Durant, I don't care. You don't want to be playing against Detroit. Detroit killed it. Are you kidding me? Blake Griffin is God, ladies and gentlemen. Blake Griffin is better now than he ever was with the Clippers. That is just, that's, that's irrefutable. That's just a fact. You can't even argue with that. You better believe it. Detroit is here. They're here to stay. And Stan Van Gundy is a genius. Case closed. Whew. I'm glad I was able to stay impartial through all that, though. You know, and still, like, maintain my journalistic integrity. That's the key. You think that was too much? That wasn't biased, was it? No. Yeah, I don't think so.